Welcome to Ecotopia U Media. I'm your host, Melissa McGinnis, joined by your my co-host, Tom Wright. And we are joined today via Skype with a very special guest, Conrad McCarran. Conrad, thank you for joining us today. Great. Thanks. Great to be here. Can, can, can you give us a little sort of background of how you got on the path and and, and the NGO that you you're now work with, As You Sow? Sure. Uh, As You Sow is an kind of unique NGO that engages shareholders. Uh, we do shareholder advocacy, and that means that we engage companies that um, are publicly traded, and my work is to try to encourage these companies to have better social and environmental practices, and we do that through working with other shareholders, uh, building dialogues on issues together as shareholders, and sometimes filing uh, shareholder proposals which can be voted on at their annual meetings. Uh, that's how we have leverage, really, is to pro provide these proposals. Uh, often, if we don't need to go that far if the companies are willing to engage us uh, but that's really where we get our, our leverage is by being uh, activist shareholders. Wonderful. And uh, I've uh, specialized in uh, resource efficiency and uh, recycling issues, among other things that I've done. And so in, in the last 10 years or so, I've worked on both recycling uh, electronic waste as a major issue and recycling of post-consumer packaging, really starting with bottles and cans. Uh, with Coke and Pepsi, trying to get them to increase the recycling rate, and more recently branching out from beverage companies to the packaged goods and fast food sectors. But but my work, Tom, was really started off by when I was a, a social research analyst. Just my incredible annoyment, <laughs> annoyance that our recycling rate in this country for packaging is so poor. It's only about 34 percent, and for a country as advanced as we are technologically, it just seems almost like an embarrassment. And so I felt like it was a personal priority for me to engage these companies and say, you know, can't we do better than that? And, and, and you help them do better than that. What are some of the case studies or stories that you could share with us? Sure. Well, um, after uh, several years of engagement with Coke and Pepsi and Nestle Waters, three of the largest beverage companies, all of them made commitments to uh, work to increase the recycling rate for bottles and cans to 50% by over the next couple of years, 2016 to 2018, and they're all working on that in various ways um, to in, in improve recycling, uh, either through putting resources into their own company or working with other peers to uh, strengthen systems that improve our infrastructure in recycling. And then more recently, uh, we've, uh, in the last several years, we've looked at the idea of producer responsibility or EPR, extended producer responsibility which sounds reasonable. It's about shifting the responsibility for the payment of uh, recycling, of curbside recycling, the financing of it, shifting it from taxpayers, where it's been traditionally in the U.S., to the producers, to the big brands. Uh, turns out that's a very controversial issue, an incredibly hot topic that stirred up a lot of, a lot of um, debate in the last few years. And Nestle Waters North America was to their credit, out there promoting this as a company, and it was hard for them to get other companies on board. And we're still having that discussion, but I think we've, um, at least here at As You So, we've kind of taken a temporary detour to go back to brands and say, well, while that debate is still continuing over how much responsibility you should have, let's talk about the recyclability of your products, because that's something you can control on your own. And so we've been uh, trying to get big brands to make commitments to recycle more of their materials so that more of them will end up in that blue um, bucket outside your house and not so much in the, in the garbage side, in the garbage bucket. And uh, in the last year, we've had a couple of good, um, a couple of good wins with uh, Procter & Gamble and Colgate Palmolive both agreeing to uh, make over 90% of their packaging recyclable over the next five years and so uh, those are public commitments and we're very happy that th these two huge uh, companies have, have said that they are going to uh, make more of their packaging recyclable. Well it's so great to meet you and to hear what you're doing and just to know that there's great minds kind of working behind the scenes trying to figure this out. Yes. So I just you know thank you for sharing your story with us.